Hello, my lovely subscribers. I just wanted to make a quick video about um, androgyny and about androgynous people. Um, if you don't know what that means, it's basically somebody who is born um, that has features that are feminine or masculine if they're a woman. Say you're a woman and you're born with masculine features that makes you andro androgynous. And if you're, um, you know, born male and you have um, womanly features you're basically androgynous. Um, it's hard for people like us to, to be with people, I think. I knew somebody that was straight in high school who was very androgynous. He, um, he looked like a girl, basically. Like, really, 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 um, feminine looking, but masculine acting. So it kind of confuses people, and it shocks people, and they're kind of like, they don't know what to do with people like us, because I consider myself androgynous. Ever since I came out of the womb, the doctors, or not the doctors, the people, like, at the grocery store when I was little, used to always, you know, think that I was a little girl. And they'd be like, oh, your little girl is so cute. My mom's like, yeah, he's a boy. And I would be like one. So, I mean, you know, when I was 11, I would go to the market with my mom and they'd be like, oh, your daughter is so pretty. Or you're this, is not. Or your daughter to help me out or something like that. And it's like, um, yeah, I'm a boy. A penis. But, um, and it still happens now. Like, if I'm at, like, the airport or something, it's like, hello, I'm 7 million feet tall. Like, I think it's, like, an energy that I give off, maybe, I thought. But I'm like, no, I, I just gotta face it. I'm androgynous, and I'm okay with it. And I think it's a beautiful thing. It's kind of gender-bending without even really trying. Um, I think um, androgyny is beautiful. I think it's something that you have to accept with yourself. You know, I just wanted to make this video because, you know, I was on um, YouTube, and I didn't see any videos about people that are, are born, you know feminine looking or masculine looking and it is hard for us to find somebody you know to date or a soulmate or whatever because people do get confused you know within the straight and gay and bisexual transgender whatever community um it is very confusing to people and it's shock and it scares people it scares people away they're like oh hello you look like a girl like you know but you act like a boy like it's kind of weird it's not only gay people it's it's straight people too like I said, my, my friend in high school was completely straight and looked so feminine. Like, the lips, the eyes, a very, very beautiful face, but, you know, it was a boy. Love yourself, and if you, you know, are born a woman and, and have masculine features, you know, who cares? It's beautiful. It's, it's artistic, I think, because you can play up your features and trick people. Um... And if you're born, you know, male and you look, you know, feminine, then, you know, dye your hair blonde, you know. <laughs> um, just accept yourself and love yourself and it will come. People will understand. People won't care. Um, and yeah. I remember middle school, I had a shaved head and the girl said, give her a yearbook. And I didn't even speak or anything. And she just glanced at me and was like, oh, lesbian. Like, uh, I don't know, but... Love yourself and it's okay, okay? Because I love you. Being androgynous is cool. Not everybody can say they're androgynous, so... Accept it. I mean, it's like I'm a drag queen without even trying. It's beautiful.